Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. Zoe here if you're new. And your girl has been looking very crusty, dusty, rusty recently. So I have not done my typical beauty maintenance in a minute. I'm not gonna lie. The nails aren't done. The roots need to be dyed. I don't got no lashes on. But I wanted to record this video because one thing about me, if I can do beauty maintenance by myself, I will do that. So we're gonna do a whole glam moment. And I wanted to take y'all with me just in case you guys want to do this as well. If you're trying to save a little coin this summer, okay, if you wanna be self-sufficient, I got you, girl. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So before I get into this video, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can notified every time your girl uploads a video. And yes, let's get into it. So we're gonna dye the hair first, just because I don't want to be messing with the dye after I do my nails, because I don't want them to stain. Um, but I already mixed the dye together. I'm also doing a bleach wash on my extensions, because for whatever reason, the extensions were not lifting as much as my natural hair, and I felt like when I would put them in, like you could tell the lighter versus the darker. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I wasn't even gonna dye my hair this time around. Um, I was about to dye it back to black. But I was on my TikTok live and I had asked them, and everybody was like, no, like your hair color is so iconic. So many people want to dye their hair like that, blah, blah, blah. And one of my other friends was like, it would just be cute to have this color for the summertime. So I was like, you know what? I guess we will dye it one last time, but I think this is gonna be the last time I'm dyeing it this color, and then I'm gonna go back to black. Well, y'all have been begging me for the recipe for this peach cobbler, aka my hair color, and I'm about to teach you guys how to do it at home with no bleach. I know y'all heard that right. So I use the Wella Color Charm dye, and I start with one full bottle of the 5RV color in burgundy. I then go in with half of a bottle of the 6RV in the shade Cyclamen, and then half of a bottle of the 6R red terracotta. This dye calls for one part dye, two parts developer. I used 40 volume developer and I ended up filling up the dye bottle four times just to make the ratio even. And then once I did that, you wanna mix it together. The dye has been in my hair for 35 minutes. Um, I put on a timer for 45. I usually do it for like 45 an hour once it's like all on. But I decided to do a face mask. It's the Fourth Way Beauty Big Detox Mask. Um, I'm breaking out on my nose and like my forehead. And I don't like that, especially because I have an event tomorrow. I might bring you guys, I might vlog it. I just washed my hair out and I'm not gonna lie, usually I don't struggle that hard, but like this time, babe, I almost drowned myself like <laughs> soap and dye was in my eye. I was getting water in my ears. It was just all bad, but we're about to see the fun result. But I did shampoo my hair twice just to make sure like I got all of the dye out and then I'm going in with the Foxy Bay Insta Bay hair mask. Um, I like to go with the hair mask after I dye my hair just cause like I put a high volume developer on it. So I wanna like return. All the moisture and let's see yep the roots are dyed y'all they're no longer black and technically this mask says to leave it in for three minutes i simply don't listen to that and i leave it in for like 30 to an hour i used to work for this company so i know it's not like a bad thing if i leave it on but ah uh, baby get into the roots uh, she's back and better like i always feel like a whole new girl when my roots are done side mission as I am deep conditioning the hair, we're gonna make some juice. Maxine was, you know, had the genius idea of buying a juicer. So we're gonna juice some fruit and some veggies and make our own pressed juices at home. Should we come over and go with the juice? This one's supposed to be the Joe and the Juice Green Sport and this is supposed to be the Joe AMG. The dogs is going stupid outside. They're having a fight. This one's definitely giving healthy. This one is pineapple, cucumber, apple. This one is apple, ginger, mint. Why is it spicy? <laughs> um, yeah, I added a little bit too much ginger in this. Um, it's not bad though. Yeah, try it on camera. Can you taste the mint though? Not as much, no. I mean a little bit. I can smell it. I know it's strong. It's a little bit strong. She got a little spice too. She got a little spice. 
It's still good though. So I made some ginger shots and we're gonna try them. It's lemon, ginger, turmeric, and cayenne. She put a lot of cayenne. I did, it's gonna be spicy. If you guys want more like juicing slash like health lifestyle videos, let me know because I can make that. I can make like a what I eat in the day. We can make some juices while we're at it. Oh, it's the next day. One, ignore my pimple patch. Special delivery. Guess what we're about to do, y'all? We're about to do our nails. This is all of the goodies needed to get it done, okay? Do my Gel X extensions or my press-on nails. Um, I am going to be using press-on. I'm going to be using the Glamnetic press-on nail when you just use nail glue and press-ons they don't be lasting that long but i'm about to teach y'all how to make your press-on nails last at least two weeks okay because we want it to feel like we went to the salon all right like we're if we're going to be doing it ourselves it needs to be the same quality and i'm about to teach y'all how to do that yeah um you're going to need a uv lamp we got this off of amazon i will link it down below but this is essential to make sure that they're lasting as long as possible I'm actually going to need some gel x extension gel um, this is what's going to actually make it last two weeks. If you've ever had Gel X nails done at the salon, they use a specific gel to put on your nails to secure them. And when I tell y'all when they're on, they do not come off. And then, not necessary, but it does help the process to get a little LED flashlight so that you can hold it onto the nail and then stick it under um but i'll show you all the whole process in a second step number one you need to prep your nails this step is super important in making sure that your nails last as long as possible if your nails are too slick or oily before you start they definitely will pop off a lot easier so i'm taking my time and buffing each of my nails the second step to this is making sure that each of the press on nails fit your nail bed perfectly if it's too small or too big it'll also cause them to pop off prematurely so you want to take your time and make sure that they they all fit properly and the last step for the prep is making sure that you dehydrate your nails this is kind of equivalent to the first step but it just helps make sure that you're getting any oils and grease off of your nails so that the adhesive sticks as long as possible i'm using an alcohol pad but you can use acetone or a nail dehydrator step number two is using the gel x adhesive i'm taking a paintbrush and painting a light layer of the gel x on the back of the press on nail and then i'm taking a little dot of the nail glue that comes in the kit and putting it on my actual nail bed this is just just to give it an extra adhesive to make sure it's lasting as long as possible you then want to press the nail onto your nail bed and use the uv lamp and hold it on there for about 15 to 30 seconds you want to keep repeating this step until your whole hand is done I personally recommend investing in both the hand lamp and the UV flashlight simply because you can hold the press on nail down while you're curing it with the UV flashlight versus just putting it into the hand lamp because I've done that girl and when I've done that it literally like shifted and then it cured all wonky on my nails so I don't want you guys to experience that so I hold the flashlight on my hand for about 15 to 30 seconds per nail If you do happen to get any spillover, it's super easy to take off. You just want to take some cuticle cutters and snip off the excess gel that is oozing out. And after you do that, you want to just put your hand in the UV lamp for about 60 seconds just to further cure it. I promise you this is the fail-proof way of getting your nails to last two to three weeks. You are basically bringing the nail salon into your own home and it's super easy to do. Your nails are going to last so long. It's going to give salon quality and it's going to be so worth it. I promise. I have all of the products products linked down below on my Amazon storefront so you guys can purchase them if you're interested. It's perfect manicure and I promise you it only cost me $15 for the press on nails so I'm doing it for a fraction of the price and they come out so good every single time you guys. For my everyday nails I'm always going to do this press on method. Okay please ignore my laundry in the corner. Okay we still have to fold her but the nails are done babes. They came out so freaking cute. Obsessed with them. I feel anytime I get my nails done I just feel like a new energy is unlocked, like a new bad bitch is unlocked. And last but not least, y'all, we need to do these lashes because the eyes are looking very boring. They're looking very naked. So I'm going to be doing some semi-permanent lashes. I'm going to be using these Kiss lashes that I got from CVS. Usually you would want to do this with like clusters, but I'm just going to cut these strips up and use them as clusters. So I'm going to be using the Foscara Bond and Sealer. And then I'm also going to be using the Foscara Overnighter just to really secure it in. When I do these lashes, they normally only last me about three to five days. So this is not like a long permanent lash extension as if you were to go to an actual professional. So just keep that in mind. 
this is just like a cute quick fix if you just want to wake up with your lashes on for a few days and then redo them so let's get into it let's get started i'm gonna put the two smaller ones in the corner and then i'm going to extend it out based on length and have the longest be on the outside um i cut them up into five clusters as you guys can see so we're gonna zoom you in and get started oh we're super close sorry we're besties now okay so i'm taking the foscara bond and i'm applying it to my lashes like mascara i also take a little bit of the bond and apply it to each cluster on the band part right before i apply it you then want to go from underneath rather than from over top like you do with a normal strip lash. And you want to make sure that you're not actually putting it on your skin because you will be able to feel it in your eye and that's very uncomfortable. So you want to place it right before where your lashes meet your skin on your waterline. And I do it in clusters to make sure that the bond doesn't dry too fast. Applying them just super gently. You want to take your time with this, obviously, especially if it's your first time doing it because your eyes are not something you should be playing around with, okay? But once you get the hang of it, this actually takes almost about maybe like 5-10 minutes each time and make sure that they're secured. <laughs> what the eye looks like we got the drama on the end and light in the middle and then you want to take the sealant and just seal the bottom half of it so i'm applying it underneath like i'm applying mascara and then i like to go on top as well just to make sure that none of the adhesive is still sticky afterwards press them together and then boom lashes are on and they're gonna stay for a minute and it's super quick and easy in real time i'm pretty sure that took about like five ten minutes and now I have a lash extension on. Ah, so cute. Your girl is about to be back in better. I can't. Um, so I'm going to do the other one. We're going to speed it up, though. I'm not going to talk through this one. session is done we are finito okay we got the roots dyed we did our nails we got our lashes done like she's eating she's back and better well she's not fully back and better because we need to beat the face we need to do the hair i am gonna do my hair and makeup off camera because i'm gonna be filming it for a tiktok video but i'm gonna come back when i'm full glam so we can get the full results of our beauty maintenance at home okay like I'm so excited. I love how the lashes came out though. I think these are so freaking pretty and so flattering on my eyes, like, period. So let me go do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll come back right before, because my event is tonight. So I'm gonna come back right before my event to show y'all the final result of my hair and my makeup. But your girl is already feeling like, ah, I'm feeling good, okay? So let's get it. Let's all right, y'all, I am low-key in a rush, so your girl gotta go, but this is the final glam. I had so much fun getting glam with you guys. Like, I'm gonna insert the pictures from tonight because I just know they're gonna eat. But um, I hope you guys tried these out. If you have any questions about how I did anything, definitely comment them down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I'm so happy and excited that your girl is finally back and better, okay? I'm feeling like a baddie, and I feel like that's all that matters. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button so you can every time we go uploads a video and yes i'll talk to you guys later Mwah.